Okay, last year I made the uh, magnetic torque converter, which uses uh, a magnet disc and a copper disc or a loom disc to uh, create a, a drag where one rotor drags the other around, and then that effect is amplified by a planetary gear. Now, I used originally a, a 5 to 1 planetary gear, and it worked, um, but the magnetic interaction was much too small, so I switched to a 10 to 1 planetary gear, and that worked a lot better because the magnetic effects are multiplied by 10. But you can only get a certain amount of magnetic effect, and uh, it really wasn't enough still. And uh, it occurred to me later that uh, I shouldn't have just gone for, you know, the largest reduction single element planetary gear. That I should have gone for a two-stage planetary gear and maybe used uh, 30 to 1. Then the magnets and the uh, aluminum rotor disks wouldn't need to have nearly as strong as an interaction because they would be magnified by 30 instead of just 10. And uh, I, 10 seemed to work if you have a pure copper rotor and uh, a haulback magnet rotor, but uh, with, uh, you know, 30 to 1, maybe if you're going direct to the wheels, it might be 40 to 1 or even 50 to 1. And you would also get uh, more uh, acceleration at lower speeds. But you still go up to getting near to one-to-one -one at, uh, at driving speeds and, and normal torques. So uh, you have a, a gear that the whole thing is just spinning at one-to-one -one and it's uh, virtually 100% efficient. So, uh, I, like I say, I haven't had time to build anything. So I'm just going to say it and it's the way to, uh, I think, the future of transmissions. You have all the gears you can possibly want, all this variable transmission from uh, very high torque up to one-to-one, -to -one. and uh, you can eliminate the whole transmission with all the gears and everything. Once uh, the disks, the magnet disk, and the copper disc are spinning at a certain speed, slipping too much relative to each other, the force that they generate for torque doesn't increase. So you have to keep the uh, rate of slip within the decent operating parameters. Also, you generate a lot more heat as they slip more. And so by having the uh, planetary gear with a high ratio, you multiply the force of the magnets by 30. A key point that I didn't mention earlier is that uh, right now most electric cars are made with a single ratio uh, gear and uh, one of the key uh, features of a motor, one of the key requirements is that it be able to run at highway speeds at uh, 10 or 15,000 RPM or more without flying apart. But there are more efficient motors like uh, brushless DC axial flux motors that uh, would give the car greater range. And if you have the variable torque converter, then they can run at their optimum speed range and not have to be made uh, super strong to uh, withstand incredibly high RPMs. So all we need now is for manufacturers to start catching on. Uh, thanks for watching.